Hey everybody, and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. Chris here, and everything is back to normal. We are happy with our troops and stuff. The uh, Brock Road battle wasn't the best, but we did okay. Um, so, there's not much to talk about here, so we're just going to go straight to the battle map. Um, I think I went through all the letters last time, so we should be okay. So it's Mule, mule Shoe, which Ben Riggle has asked why it's not called Horseshoe. Maybe someone out there will know. I'm hoping so. We will get 15,000 troops and $156,300, five rep. Losing, we'll lose this 35 rep. We can afford a loss. We don't want one, though. So, let's do this. I've already read through what the mission is. We know that we've got this Earthworks trap, death trap thing. We have to go through it, and they just have to sit behind it. So I'm guessing there'll be like a, a flag or something back here and around this farm that we have to get to, which would suggest that we'd be able to get through the somewhere around here we could use the trees maybe i'm not sure i would like to try and use the trees to our advantage because at least then we're going to protect our troops to that end i'm going to go with first corps as the main body of the assault with um sorry second corps with the main body of assault with first corps as reinforcements i want to punch through with second corps where we can take bigger losses with less detriment and then first corps kind of sweep in and push them all back which basically means first call is getting all the glory, but that's beside the point. Okay, let's do this. General, the rich, uh, this rebel position appears to be the weakest in their line. Really? Really? I'm seeing, like, multi-layered defenses and everything. It is a salient in their formation. Got one there, one there. This is ridiculous, man. This will all be protected as well. Jutting out in a horseshoe shape. See? Horseshoe. Not mule shoe. Horseshoe. We have to assault this exposed position and seize the area. If we succeed, we could split the Confederate front in two and cripple their defences. Alright. Um, pause. Yeah, they've got... These defensive positions, multi-leveled, that's where we have to get to. It's a bit further back, uh, further forward than I thought it would be. But they don't come all the way out here like it says on the uh, the first map, you know, tells you what you're doing. Like to try and attack from the trees. Which would suggest this would be the best place to attack. But you know as well as I do, they're probably going to have troops in these areas. This is going to be a complete mess. Alright, you... Um... I'm thinking maybe we just hit, the, hit the, the main front here. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll start with you five. And you, 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 and you. Behind. them and then you three behind them cannons and that and brooks there cavalry Yeah. 
we're going to hit this point here. Push out, grab these trees, and that'll help us defend bits. But it's the cannons. We're going to have to deal with the cannons fast, so I want my, my cannons to work on them. All right, we're not going to push too hard. We have one point to capture. We have the numerical advantage on troops. We're about to get a bigger advantage when our reinforcements turn up. I have chocolate here, which is what you're hearing. I'm going to need this. Let's move this along. Oh. The chocolate is basically because I haven't had much to eat today and my blood sugar level has just gone through the floor. Get those skirmishes. Good, route them, that was good, that was good, that was good. Great. Captured. three on the cans. Brooks in behind. Okay. Go. Everyone's got somewhere to move. This is good. You get out of there. Cavalry into the trees. Rebel cavalry spotted. Where? There. Well, they're behind the line. I don't care. Pleasanton. Get onto them. Dennis. Devin, sorry. Help there. Phelps. Cannon. Sackett. Cannon. Harrison. There. Zook, there. And I want you five to go at the run. Get up there fast. Go. Start pushing, people. Start pushing.
We got reinforcements. Okay, pausing. Wow, that's a lot of reinforcements. Predator, 76, Centurions, Kirk. All you guys. Um, you four. Uh, get to here. You four in the middle. Um, you four there. Also get to the middle. Uh, I want the cavalry. There with that cavalry. Cannons. All the guns. Rival and boil. There. Go. All right, we started to force their cannons back. We broke them. They're routing. Cold quit. Hit there. Pleasanton. Can you help out that, please? Run, buddy. My cat, you run too. Haskell, get in there and help out. I can't get in behind him. Leap in. Keep forcing down. Right, you lot. In there. Right, we've broken through. We're taking losses. We're taking quite a few losses. Uh, taking about 2,000. They've not taken anywhere near that much. We're taking out their cannons really quickly. All right, uh, we've still got your, these cannons back here. 
I want them here. Um, and these cannons at the front. I want you moving up there already. I want close range artillery support. Um, you guys. Actually, yeah, get right in here and just stop. Don't want you attacking that. I want you there. We still haven't even brought in first call to bear yet. They're still on their way. We have broken through. Let's keep going. Still got first call back there to help out if we need them. Oh, I think second call is going to do this on its own. Rebels to send reinforcements, okay. Braxton, get in there and help out with that.
Hit that cavalry. Almost on it. We're almost on it. That's all our cannons. That's going to be fun. You lot. Charge at that. At the run. Get into that flank. Centurions, Wines, Jackal, 76, and Predators. At the run, get into this flank. I want this flank because we can take it. All the rest of you. And I want you all at the run. This could be explosive. Brooks in there. Rival over there. Sack it hit there. Yeah, we just lumped another load of an entire core onto you. Congratulations, you really made us angry now. Wait, Ben, hit you. Keep pushing forward, people. That's right, fall back. Overwhelming force here.
Yes, we did. How are we doing? We lost about 9,000. They've lost just over 11,000. Right, just help out with that. Keep pushing, people. Patton, get on there. Oh, Paxton, sorry. Micah, into there. Still pushing it. Race, full back. Nevins, full back. Pleasanton, I want you back there. You're out of it. over here and help out. Stonewall Brigade surrendered. No way. Out of the run, get out of there. Okay.
Stonewall. Um, you actually can get out of there. Hasn't? I'm not entirely sure what you're doing over there, but get over here. Where are we up to? Lost about 15,000. They lost about 16. You too. Another one broke. Another one broke. Ah, the general went. They broke. We win. Yes. Okay. This is the moment of truth. When in Brooks first rival, we went against Richard Ewell, Jeb Stewart, and Richard Anderson. We had 72,000 troops. They had 38,693. We had 3,000 cavalry. They had 1,566. 192 guns. Yeah, 135 guns. We lost 14,648, they lost 23,037, we lost no guns but 11 men, they lost 93 guns. We lost 446 cavalry, they lost 903, we captured 2,734 of theirs as well. Victory, awesome, yes. Um, Schimmelfinnig, Schimmelfinnig, good job. We took some heavy losses, I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it, we did, we took some seriously heavy losses, um, Pleasanton took a big hit, over 50%, but they seem to be spread quite evenly across all of our different 
forces. So some big ones, some big ones. Cake took a bit of a hit. Um, yeah, it, it worked. The the job worked. Sackett got promoted. Harrison, Otis, Haskell, Colquitt, Morgan, and Sill. We didn't lose anybody. Not even wounded. Yes. Good. Seven hundred there, thirty-three Patton Enfields. We got sixteen hundred eighty-four captured Harpers Ferries. Nice. One hundred and seventy-four Lorenz. Twenty-seven Napoleons. Just can't get away from the damn things. Uh, Twelve hundred supplies. We rescued three thousand seven hundred ninety-eight. Uh, Springfield to 55s, some Palmettos, uh, rescued some Springfield 61s, some Colts, 245 Sean Offs, yeah, Sean Offs, 691 Palmettos, 1842s, damn, they really are using old equipment. Uh, 1092 Type 2s, um, 156 Hunters, 570, uh, 557 Mississippis. It's not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. And I was expecting our losses to be a lot, a lot worse. We did pretty damn well there. Uh, 156,000 and 15,000 troops, five reputation, one career point, and we've got an additional thousand recruits, plus what we get back from our um, medical bits and pieces. We've got 29,000 troops to work with. It's not a bad amount. And I'm going to put more into medicine. That gives us 18%. I'm going to get medicine maxed out because that's 20%. So whatever we lose, we get 20% back. So what we say, we lost 14,000 in that battle. Um, well, 10% of that is uh, 1,400, so that'd be 2,800 troops back. That's a, a lot. Instead of 14,000 lost, we get... 11,200. That's quite a big jump. Later, medicine makes sense. Early, it really doesn't. But the losses are much more extreme at this stage of the game. So, we'll apply that. We'll sort out the armory first. We know we haven't lost any officers, so that's good. Uh, get rid of the Palmettos. Get rid of the Mississippis. Get rid of the Type 2s. The Lorenz, the Pan Enfields, and we'll keep you lot. Uh, we'll get rid of the Hunters. I'm thinking about changing Dread of Rebels over to a skirmish cavalry. Let me know what you think. I'll probably end up already doing it by the time you guys get there, but you know. Still got the mats. I want the mats. Why won't you give me the mats? They're so pretty. We've got 50 Napoleons. Okie dokie. I don't think I'm going to need 24. We don't lose that many. So I'm going to sell 40. I think that makes sense in my head. All right. Um, first core and second core got a bit of a beating. Harrison's got a promotion. We will give you accuracy. Otis, you got a promotion. We'll give you accuracy as well. First call. Long rifles have got promotion. You will get gunnery. Gunnery training. You don't need anyone. Hodgson, what about you? You're okay. Rogers Revenge. So we must have lost him from first call. Nothing on there. Atkinson. You need one. So cool. Okay. So we might be uh, moving you over to first call, my friend. Yeah, I might be moving you to first call. I'll think about it. We're okay on first call at the moment. Right, let's uh, start sorting out our troops. 
again, if we've got two stars, we want to try and keep hold of the two stars. If we've got one star, then obviously we want to hold on to that, so... But I want to try and work this out with rookies if I can. Always trying to save that green. Yes, sir. We lost a few, but we should have more than enough to make back what we lost. Okay, so just got to figure out the cavalry now. Well, I want to keep. Of course, horses at full. Tread of rebels. Should I switch you over to the sharps? We have loads in the stock. How much do we have in the Colts? We only have 150 in the army. There's none in the shop. Really want the mats? Won't let me have them. Won't let me have them. Why not? Smiths. 41. We do have the Sharps. 55s. These do seem to be better. 230. 100. Accuracy 40. Yeah, lever action. At least I think they're lever action. Cost 27,000 to fit you out, and then we're going to put your rookies. There you go, you got Smiths. Just means that Dread of Rebels has, a, it gives us another dynamic in the uh, grand scheme of things. Also gets them off of the terrible weapons. Okay, first core is now finished. Moving on to second core. And there'll be a cut here. Okay, guys, we've run into a small problem. Um, and by small, I mean huge. I've run out of 55s. 1855 Springfield, so we've run out of them completely. Almost at the end of the second call. I've got two more brigades to do. One's on Harvest Ferries, which means I can do it. That's no problem. Um, might, yeah, I have to go down a bit, which means you need a couple of veterans to fill you out, which is fine. That's fine. Harrison, we're out of uh, 1855s. Completely. Down! Um, so, we've got the money. We've got the troops. So, I'm going to have to pick up some 1861s. 70 grand. I'd rather not spend 70 grand. So, I'm going to use our rep. We've got 46, and Tony takes it down to 31. It's a lot better than it was. That's 3,000. So, Stuart. What do you want? Harpers Ferry. I'm going to ignore that then. Um, Bass. Harpers Ferries. Harpers Ferries. Springfields. I grab you and put you on 61s. That only costs 35 grand. Right, race, take over from Dubois, because that means we have first and second divisions all on 61s. You can discuss amongst yourself and in the comment section about whether or not I should. Um, be using the 63s by now. Oh, I'm already on 55s, aren't I? Cancel. Sorry. Uh, man, I'm stupid sometimes. This does leave us a problem. 
It means I don't have enough rifles, and I can't buy enough rifles to fill out third core. Also, I don't have any officers to fill out third yeah. core, so we're just going to ignore third core. Oh well, um, we're all sorted. First and second corps are all back up to strength. We still have 16,000 troops left over. I am going to go to the armory. We're going to hold on to these weapons. I can't afford to sell them. I'm going to sell about a thousand of these rifles. That's 24 grand. Um, hold on to them. I'm going to hold on to, oh, I'm going to hold on to all of this. The palmettos we need for replacements. So many wounded. Once we get these officers back, it's going to be... We're going to have an overflow of officers. And we'll get more officers in the academy as well, so that'll help. But once again, we continue with the victories. That was a lot tougher than I was... I mean, I knew it was going to be tough. I knew it was going to be tough. The defensive positions were just nasty. But it was a lot tougher. They just would not let go. He held and held and held. Really good. Okay, correspondence. Captain Message. Mr. President, unfortunately we have bad news. The Battle of Mule Shoe. We have to withdraw versus overwhelming forces of Yankee General Christoph Rival. I am kindly expecting your orders on how I should proceed. Major General Sam Jones. Capture message. General, we're sending by rail 3,900 crack soldiers to reinforce your positions. Watch your flanks. We're coming to assist. Lieutenant General Darius Hayes. Capture message. Frankly speaking, the thousands of recruits we are throwing into this fight, I heard about 26,700 soldiers, will not make a big difference. Seeing how capable General Christopher Rival is, I would have doubled these troops and weakened our armies in other fronts. Lieutenant General Norman Osborne. Cold Harbor, people. Cold Harbor. Now, I know enough about American Civil War history to know this is a big battle. Defeat the enemy at Battle of Gettysburg, making Lee's army weaker, minus 5% enemy army size. Defeat the enemy at Brock Road in the wilderness, weakening the Confederate army, minus 5% enemy army size. He defeats the enemy at Mule Shoe in Spotsylvania Courthouse, breaking their defensive line to two pieces. Make and the effect is minus 5% enemy army size. So that's minus 15%. Yay! If we lose, it is over. It's minus 60, we have 31. If we win, we get an extra 30 rep, which will be useful because all the things get redone after every campaign. So if we can get that, then we can start looking at third core seriously. Especially if we can keep our. Um, losses to a, a, a minimum and get some new rifles from the shops. That'd be nice. But anyway, that'll be next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like we saw, please do consider subscribing. Let me know what you thought about how I attacked that battle. Did you think I did the right thing? Did you think I was right to put the second core in first rather than the first core? Let me know. I'm interested. Um, also, how would you proceed with those uh, modifiers we've got now? Should I keep going with medicine? Should I start putting into logistics? Or should I take a look at look at recon? Options, people. I have options. Until next time, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.